Hey, what's up? I'm Eric Porter. This is my son, Milo, and Owen. Hi. We're here at Berm Peak. We've been driving across the country in an RV, hitting Bentonville, Louisville, Kentucky, where I grew up, and now we've finally made it here. So our goal for today is to see how many features the kids can ride at Berm Peak. They've been watching all the videos. They're super big fans of the channel as well, and they've been dreaming about riding all this stuff. So today we get to put video to reality. Yeah, that's for sure. Is it bigger than you thought it was? A lot. Yeah, it's so much bigger than you think it's in the videos. So we've got them pretty padded up as well. They got their pads on. We're gonna wear the full face helmets and we're gonna have a good time and see what we can ride. So we're gonna get started out with some downhill trails, get warmed up. We're gonna ramp it up as the video goes on and hopefully finish at the airbag. That's sweet. How's this trail feeling? Uh, you should make it more downhilly. You want to do a steeper one next? Yeah. Okay. How's thinking going right next to Elmer Fudd? So they want to ride a steeper downhill line. Owen wants me right here to uh, catch him if he can't slow down enough. Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Dude, that was a sick drift into the tree. Thanks. How was that? Fun. I saw your face though and you're like determined, you're like <laughs> <laughs> Nice! That was awesome. Yeah, buddy. Oh man, what do you think about the climb back up, Owen? <sighs> Treacherous? Treacherous. Is that the scariest part of Burn Peak? Yeah. <laughs> Check out the snake pit now. Have you ever ridden a skinny this long before? Never. Looks like it's a little slick, so we're gonna have to be a little careful braking on it. This one's kind of off camber, pretty narrow, and not the easiest first one. Uh, when you ride a skinny, you don't want to look straight down at your front wheel. That makes it hard to keep it yeah. going in a straight line. But you also want to look like in front and a little bit down also. Yeah. So you can see where the skinny goes. Do you guys think you got it? Yeah. yeah. Yeah! Milo, how was that on the skinny? It was pretty fun. How you feeling, Owen? Good to get good. <laughs> What's the scariest part about it? Probably the split is gonna be the scariest. Let's do it. That wasn't as hard. It's pretty hard, though. I can do harder high fives without gloves. Yeah, buddy. Whoa, nice one, Owen. You scared me with a little skid right here on the off camber skinny. Dude, that was sick. I gotta get my face away from there. Those are scary high fives. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that feel, Owen? Good. They got skinnier and skinnier. I know. And then skinnier. It's a good feeling to conquer something though, right? Yeah. I think if we start right there on that landing, that might be a good way to hit grandpa strength and driveway gap. So the line, Owen, is to the right of that rock and to the left of this hump right here. And then you bunny hop off that. That's the lip right there. You want to show him, Milo? For the, yeah. Okay. Aim for the sky, cowboy. Grandpa's strength seems to be no problem for Milo, which is rad. Uh, he's been bunny hopping a lot more and jumping a lot more recently. What do you think about this, Owen? Yeah, I think I can hit it. Okay, we're gonna get a sheet of plywood, put it in there, then it's no stress. Owen can see how it feels, and then we can take the plywood out. Sound good? Yeah. There's no plywood at Burn Peak right now, so I gotta make something with some planks to make this safe for Owen to test it out. Yeah, that's good. You feel good about this? Yeah. You ready, Owen? Owen? What happened, Milo? I tasted the driveway gap and I flatted my car. Daddy, I cleared both perfectly. As soon as I heard Milo's pinch flat, I was launching off the lip. I'm like, shoot. Once we fix Milo's flat, I'm going to hit it a few more times and maybe we could take out the planks. Look at that. There's a hole right there, too. Yeah, you pinch flatted your tire really good. I was like, boom. Yeah. So when Milo cased the edge of the driveway, that's a hard concrete edge. What happens is the tire goes down like this, and if it hits hard enough, it actually pinch flats. 
So it puts a hole in the tire right there and right there. So now we gotta get the tire off the rim, patch these holes from the backside. I'm gonna use some Gorilla Tape for that. And then we're gonna put an inner tube in and then we should be good to go. So it's kind of hard to get off, Milo. It's a hard pop like that. You take the bead off all the way around so you can lift it up and over and then push down. Okay. And then you don't need tire levers. So we still got sealant in there, so we'll need to dump that out into the trash. We're gonna put a tube in, and we need to get the sealant off of the area that we're gonna patch. So that's what we're fixing right there. So push that flat, and then we're gonna put some Gorilla Tape. Gorilla Tape's nice and thick, and it has the stuff inside it too to keep it from stretching. That one's gonna be a little tougher. What do you think, Miley? You think that'll hold? Only one way to find out, right? You see this rim has a channel. It's mm -hmm. lower in the middle and higher on the sides. When it pops up on the sides, that's what holds the bead on. If you can put the tire in the channel, then it makes it easier to get the tire on without using tire levers. So I'll help hold this in the channel. You can push the slack up this way, then you should be able to get the tire back on without any tire levers. Nice, Milo. That trick works really well, doesn't it? Yeah. Always line up your logo with your valve stem so that you can find your valve stem quick. You want it to pop on, but you want to make sure that the nothing's sticking out. So that loud pop is the tire seating on the rim. Nice work, you fixed your own tire. Yes. All right, we're ready to shred. One down, two to go. That time I sprinkled it a little bit. You sprinkled it? What's that mean? Like cased it a little bit. Oh, you cased it a little like, bit? Just millimeters from it. Can you take away one board now? Yeah! I can't save it! Get it! How far did I send that driveway gap? That was sick, he made the driveway gap. Now you got Grandpa Street to figure it out. Stop it further away. I just sent that driveway gap, I like the work. It's cool to see the brotherly aspect too of Milo really helping him through it. I'm so proud of you, and Milo too, because you figured it out pretty quick as well. Now we're gonna work through some scarier features. What do you guys wanna work on next? Um, um, rock, rock garden and the teeter, teeter cannon. cannon. <laughs> <laughs> so we're over in the rock garden zone now. I don't think this is gonna be any problem for them. They ride a lot of downhill back home at Deer Valley and yeah. they love rock gardens. Uh, the only difference here, guys, is that this rock garden is kinda wet and mossy because we're on the east coast. Yeah. And so the main thing is you set your speed before it. You can't really break much in the rock yeah. garden because if you're hitting your brakes in the rock garden, that'll make your wheels slide and kind of lose control. So what you want to do is pick your line and stay loose and just monster truck over it. And then you basically look through the rock garden to your exit and then you hit that rock catch berm to ride out. And what comes after the rock garden? Teeter cannon. Yeah. Okay, so this teeter cannon, the biggest problem I could see happening is that this is made for an adult to ride, and so they weight the teeter-totters so that it drops down at the right time. So it might just drop a little late. So I'm gonna stand beside it, and I can help you guys out on it. And all you do is ride, just keep climbing up it until it dips down, and then you ride off the other side. So it's actually not that bad. It's just kind of scary, because you're six feet off the ground, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you want me to hit this first so you can see how it works and when it dips and everything? Sure. Go down when I'm right here. <laughs> Wait right here so that I can help this down if they're not heavy enough to make it go. So this is their first teeter-totter, so it's they're a little nervous. 
You never hit a teeter-totter, but you definitely ate a tater-totter. That's true. <laughs> oh, nice save. <laughs> One of the biggest things with teaching the kids to ride new features is teaching them how to save themselves when things are going wrong. And that was a perfect example of him doing that and nailing it. Being able to get out of bad situations is what keeps you from getting hurt. Keep pedaling, keep pedaling. There you go, you did it. Nice. That was perfect. You want to try it? Yeah. All you have to do is keep pedaling and it'll dip. The further you get from that pivot point, which is in the middle, the easier it'll go down, okay? Okay, I'm gonna come on trail speed, keep pedaling, and then just trust it. Oh. All good? Yeah. So that's that bounce at the bottom. That was kind of harder, wasn't it? Yeah. I waited to pull it down to see if you could do it on your own, and it was the bounce that got you, wasn't it? Yeah. You all good? Yeah. Was that scary? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep pedaling. Nice. I did it. There you go. That's hard. Nice work, Owen. How'd that feel? Really good and easy. Was that fun? Yeah, it was scary to go up more, but I ended up doing it. <laughs> Where should we head next, boys? Um, airbag. Airbag? Airbag. I don't even know if we need to ride this thing. They're having too much fun with as it is. So we gotta get the vent situation figured out because when it's too soft, like Seth and I figured out last year, you can sink in and then it'll catch you and throw you over the bars. So we don't want that to happen. We're gonna go talk about the long low before the airbag. If you clear this perfect, you'll have enough speed for that. This jump sets you up perfect for that. So when you clear this, you just roll straight in, no brakes, no pedals, and you get right over the airbag. I'm gonna roll in, hit this, and hit the airbag. The boys can roll in behind me, so they'll hit this also but then they'll stop before hitting the airbag. So you can just feel what it's like to hit this and roll up to the airbag lip and look at it without hitting it. I'm not gonna lie, the airbag's gonna be kinda scary. Yeah. Yeah. The main reason why the airbag is so scary is because it's totally blind going into it. I can follow you in on this one. You'll make it over it. You wanna watch Milo hit it and see how it goes for him? Yeah, I'm gonna take like five pedal cranks probably, cause No, I'm... five pedal cranks and you'll land down here in the grass like Seth did the first time he did it. All right, well let's head up and Milo's gonna follow me off this and we'll see how it goes. Here. You ready? Yeah. You got this, buddy. Milo, how'd that feel? Fun. How high was that, Ellen? Pretty high, you're like four or five feet. It, it felt like I was higher than you. You probably were, I just cruised it. <laughs> That's awesome, I'm so proud of him. You ready to hit it again now, being less scared? Yeah. I think I got that. Check down so you can see how I, what I see. Yep. <laughs> I need to get to his level. Yeah, so you see the white through the middle of the lip? Yeah. That's where you're going. How you feeling, Owen? Nervous. You got this, though? Yeah. Confident? Confident. Does you got this, Milo? Yeah, he got that. First time I actually cleared it perfect, just now I need to put dip my tip down. Yeah, do you want to do it again? Nice job, Owen. Session? Yeah. Was that awesome? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I can see the smile on your face. Once Blind. you hit it, you feel so good. All I saw was the blue going up and down. On his <laughs> I can't believe he hit that. You ready to hit it again? Yeah. 
Is that the best feeling in the world or what? Yeah, it's just so smooth. How fun is that, guys? So fun. Yeah, I'm just cruising off of it. That's the biggest double I've ever hit in my life. Yeah, it is. That's a huge jump. If I can hit that, I can hit Miles Line next year. You can hit Miles Line next year. Gonna end on that one? Yeah. That was a good one. We're calling it! That was ridiculous. These boys killed it today. I had so much fun helping them through it. I was scared half the day because they're riding new, bigger, crazier stuff. But we talked through it and they did an awesome job and we made it out safely. Couple little crashes, no big deals, right? Yeah. It's just called sending it. Everyone says, just gonna send it on the internet. Usually there's a lot of building up to that sending it that they don't show or they don't talk about. Some people just send it, but you're more likely to get hurt that way too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We had an awesome time. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more videos like this. Check out the rest of the videos in this awesome road trip series we've been doing around the country. Yep. Huge thanks to Seth for having us over and uh, you know, wish him a speedy recovery. Where'd you guys go? <laughs> I just laying down. I think that's the funniest jump I've ever heard in my life.